this is Barbara Benson and I'm going to show you a couple tips for working the sandpiper stitch. I developed the sandpiper stitch for my hat, Luidia, which is two color slouchy hat you can see here. It's going on walkabout so I'm showing you some still photographs. It is a modification of the gull stitch and I thought it was funny to call it the sandpiper stitch because I thought it looked like it had little wings and it was standing on one foot. There are only a couple of tricky spots and they're really not hard, but I'm going to show them to you. The first thing is that you have to slip five with yarn in front. To do that, you simply move your yarn to front and then slip five stitches purlwise. One, two, three, four, five, with the yarn in front. And then after that, you're going to purl. Now, what you want to do is make sure that these five stitches are evenly spaced like your other stitches on your needle, and that this bar that's running in front, which is the yarn that was slipped in front, is not too loose, but also not too tight. Just, just tight. We'll do this one more time just so you can see it. One, two, three. That's just the in-betweens to get us where we're going. So, yarn in front. One, two, three, four, five. And the yarn's already in front for you to pearl. And again, just kind of need to tighten that one up a bit. Make sure they're spaced evenly and this one's not bunching them up. The next stitch I just totally made up, I called it the K-R-L-S, which I styled after Slip Slip Knit in that the letters just tell you exactly what to do. So when you get to where that stitch is, the K stands for knit, the R stands for return it back to the left hand needle, the L stands for lift, and what you do is you stick your right hand needle under the bar and then pick it up and put it on your left hand needle between your new stitch and the first stitch on the left hand needle that's an old stitch. So that's lift and then slip. So just slip purlwise and allow that lifted bar to fall behind this stitch. I tried it a different way without the all this fan fanciness and then this bar just fell directly down behind the slipped stitch. Derp, because I should have known it, thought they was going to do that. I have it set up so I can do it for you one more time, just so you can see it. Get across that stock net. So, knit two, and then we have our KRLS. So knit, return, lift, and place between those two stitches. And I find I have to prop things with my this finger so nothing slides off. Then slip it back. And then just keep on going. After I finished this uh, hat, I contacted Lindsay from the Fiber Seed. I was like, what would this look like in variegated? Would you happen to have some scraps for me to play with? And she did. She sent me this beautiful, and it's um, Mahi is the variegated, and Aqua is the solid. And at first I started out slipping the solid over top of the variegated, and that really didn't excite me much. But then when I swapped positions and was slipping the variegated over the solid, I thought, whoa, that looks really cool. You can see how like each individual stitch is popping up a different color. So I'm thinking about designing something like this. This is in the Sprout Sock, which is a fingering weight, obviously. And this is Sprout DK, which is it's like cousin and it's chubbier. I thought that'd be a lot of fun. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please click the like button and 
if you would like to hear, be notified when I make another video or just be able to find me again on YouTube, you can click the subscribe button and I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you.